Um, I hadn't been on here in a while concerning my hair. Uh, the last time I was here, it was in really horrible condition. Uh, those that has watched my videos know that uh, my hair had been breaking off because of health conditions, hormone issues, and medications. Well, I can say I've been doing the baking soda uh, shampoo. And every now and then I do the cold wash. I'm going to... Uh, uh, by Pantene after I get through doing I use this I've tried this because it has like a little conditioner in it It uh, fused with Aragon oils so far it has not irritated my scalp it's for dry damage hair now I never had any I hadn't had no perms or anything on my hair my hair is all natural uh, the texture of my hair uh, it can be worn straight or wavy or curly. Uh, right now it's in the uh, curly, uh, small curl patterns right now. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> but it has the ability to do the uh, lower curl pattern it depends on what type of wrap lotion I use. The most I've used is wrap lotion and hair gel. I have to watch what hair gel. I use. I tried this and I wasn't paying attention so I got a whole big old jar, jar of it. Even though it say all styling gel, extra virgin oil, maximum hold, no flakes. It didn't work for me because I didn't pay attention. I have an allergies to glycerin so far. It's some chemicals in these gels that uh, make my skin peel, on my ears, my scalp. Sores now bad enough. I have to keep my hair washed. No, I cannot let it extend no more than three days uh, If it goes dirty. Oh, it's horrible It's a, a discomfort But I'm gonna show you the area. This is the area that I'm gonna focus on my hair is being up here uh, When I first shot this video there were bald spots everywhere I mean smooth uh, based on the uh, my hair texture, which I have a thin, fine hair, so it's going to look like thin anyway, because uh, I'm a little bit older anyhow, but it doesn't stop my hair from thickening out. Right here is fine and back is thick. The problem I'm having is in the crown area. And so, this is the results that has ha transpired. For me, me using baking soda. In the areas that I'm pulling up, there was nothing there. It was completely smooth. If you go back to some of my videos, it'll show that. It wasn't even this long. It was smooth, like skin smooth. So I can truly say that. The baking soda method has been working. See, I didn't have nothing right here. It was a smooth. And it, it got where um, no matter if I lay gel down, you could see straight through it. Now, true enough, my hair is still thin because of the greater hair that I have. Um, um, but at the end of the day, I have found the results. Now, I have not blow dried it. I have not used any heat products in a while. I use this, uh, been getting up in the morning when I'm going to go somewhere, put some gel on it, slick it back in a ponytail, keep it pushing. But um, unless I want to uh, have a new look, I go buy a wig and throw it on, or every now and then I may put some tracks in my hair. Uh, to give me length and volume. Uh, yes, I do alternate my hairstyle. But since I'm not going anywhere. And I'm just at home. I'm not traveling or doing anything. I just go natural. Let the earth, the regular air hit it. Um, but I can say so far. It has grown compared to the other videos. 
If you go back to look at all my videos, it'll tell you my story um, about my health condition. Because as I said before, every time you go on these YouTube videos, it's about girls that already have beautiful hair. Uh, where the method uh, may be appear to work, in, but in my eyesight, it don't like it's working because their their hair is not in my condition. When you're dealing with medicines like blood pressure, diabetes, thyroid medicines, hormone medicines, uh, you uh, rheumatoid arthritis medicines, uh, there are so many medications out there. Plus stress, plus he the health itself automatically brings your hair out. A lot of people's not aware when you have a disease, you don't have to have to be on any medication. The disease, some of the diseases does bring out your hair because it impacts your hormones. You need to just start researching and reading up on how these health conditions impact your whole body because it affects your skin complexion, it affects your hair, your insides and outside and your way of fit, your mood swings as well. Believe it or not, even though some of us do have some stank attitudes, but health elevated even more. Um, but I did know that I can't use black uh, black products because because I'm Native American. I'm Creek. I do have some African ancestors in me, but I have European and other races in me. I'm a mixture, but my culture is Creek Native. Is what I. Uh, I'm under and um, in my family they have beautiful hair you know I do too I just have an alternative when I was young my hair was long and pretty and thick I just have an alternative to do multiple, wear my hair multiple styles I can have the straight look or the wavy look the deep wave or the small waves or the uh, big curls. Right now I'm wearing the short uh, small spirally curls um, because what I did not put a lot of on my hair. So I don't have that many much product. I just put some uh, uh, some uh, shine polishing revive oil which I've mentioned that in my other uh, video about the tea oil that refresh and feel of the tea oil. Now, I can say that I do have eye allergies to glycerin, so I have to watch what I do put on my hair, or usually it's a disaster. And I don't want to show that because that's a horrible experience, and it takes a while for my skin and scalp to heal. But I just wanted to uh, touch bases because I hadn't been on here in a while to show you that my hair is grown, and it's, uh, I can say the baking soda has worked. I had mentioned that I would be doing eggs and stuff like that, but so far, I'm stuck on this uh, baking soda because even when I use hair gel, the impact of the breakdown of the baking soda, how it just breaks down that gel like it's never have even touched your hair. It doesn't require that much, but I make mine in a thick paste versus what other people have done. They use theirs like in a watery base where they have to be in the uh, shower and it just runs down. I don't like the water base, so I make mine a thick paste and I put it all throughout my scalp. And then I put let a bag sit on my a clear plastic bag sit on my head. Um sometimes I overdo it because I be doing everything else, but it doesn't matter how long you take leave it on there, 15, just enough to uh get some warm, 15, 30 minutes to get the warm. And then I rinse it out. It actually cleans my hair, but I do sometimes back it up with a cold wash. Because the type of hair that I have, um, my hair is straight and curly and wavy. Um, and so, uh, it doesn't uh, hold oils well at all. Usually, if I oil my scalp, put it on my hair, it all ends up on my face and neck. So, my skin type or my scalp type does not absorb oils like most people. Okay, so, but I do like the Pantene Gold Series Deep Hydrated Cold Wash because it does give a soft conditioned feel even if I use the baking soda. So, for right now, I'm going to say that it does work. 
um, based on uh, if you look at my previous videos. And as you can see in my previous videos, my hair was not nowhere near this length. Not even at the top. It was a horrible hot mess. And see how I just pulled the comb up? My hair wasn't able to do that at all. So please check out my videos, previous videos, then you'll see uh, the impact uh, that has uh, baking soda has improved uh, in the growth of my hair. I'm going to still continue to use it and we'll stay tuned to see how my hair progressed uh, for the rest of the year to see if it'll break back off or if it will continue to uh, boost in growth. And if I add anything additional, I'll let you know. Thanks for you watching my videos. Please like and share, especially for those that have health problems and that it really is given up and they always running to get a wig and a weave and it just makes the, your hair condition worse than what it is. There is hope because if I can suffer with rheumatoid arthritis, osteoporosis, Cushing's disease, diabetes, adrenal gland disease, and degenerate eye disease, which all of it affects your health problem. And my hair has broken off. Anybody hair can grow back. It just, it's just, you just gotta just keep on at it and don't give up and start eating right. That had a lot to do with it. My other trick is, I'm gonna tell you the secret too is I started drinking infused water. That ginger, cucumber, and lime is the bomb. It's so refreshing. Now that helps weight and uh, weight control. Uh, it helps flush your system out. That's just one of the uh, infused drinks that I do drink. And I will suggest that those that have health problems, you may wanna get on some infused fruit kick. And, you know, try the one with the mint, strawberry, just different ones. Don't just get stuck on one because all of them have different health benefits. You can follow me on Cushion Disease Angels on Facebook. You can uh, like um, my Briggs and I group. If you request it, I accept it. I have a lot of different uh, health benefits. And then I do have my brother that's on there that Briggs and I didn't work group worked for him and he wasn't even drinking the drink so if you go back and look at his and he was just eating my food because I was using it in my cooking he wasn't even drinking it and he have a success story so please check my group out on Facebook called Braggs and I as well as my cushion disease syndrome so you can educate those that are not aware about all this how health affects them I can only go based on what I experience in my health condition because I'm unique and all the illness that I have is usually people may have one or two but I'm unique I have multiple things going on but it does not stop me from smiling and it does not stop me from looking young at 50 and I'm just blessed because I have good DNA. But I do rest. I don't be out here sick. If I don't feel well, I get my tail in the bed. And that is the key. Peace. Until next time.